guys and it's Cameron back with another Batman Arkham Knight video and so we got another trailer for the Batman um for Batman Arkham Knight and it is a it's a gameplay trailer so we do get to see some of the gameplay and to tell to be honest it did not look much different from the cinematic trailer which is something I really like cuz you know they showed us that great Arkham Origins trailer I thought I almost thought it was real people at first but then you get into the game and it's completely different so but this looks like it's going to be the same in game as the cinematic trailer pretty much so i'm just going to tell you a few things i noticed about the trailer and this is the review for the um what is it evening the odds trailer all right so the first thing i noticed was obviously we got our first glimpse of a uh, scarecrow and what i did notice is kind of what i said Earlier, how I wanted him to look, he did have claws, not uh, not the needles. He had claws, and uh, it was kind of like a mixture of claws and needles, needles, kind of like a uh, half and half. And but he did definitely have like his uh, toxin connected to the claws, so it's kind of could be kind of like when a snake bites, the venom comes, kind of like that. But um, so. Everything I saw of him, he looked really great. It did look like he had a tank on his back. People were saying, you know, he didn't look deformed. But I'm expecting him to be more deformed in, say, his face, which would be really cool. And it would be really cool also if during the uh, during the game he notes, you left me to die. Yeah, this is what it's all about or something like that. And uh, a lot of people are saying they don't think the person talking at the beginning of the trailer was him, and neither do I. I think that the uh, Scarecrow could have sent a letter to uh, the Mayor of Gotham, and the Mayor of Gotham is just uh, is reading the letter to the public and telling them to like leave now, or he will unleash your greatest fears. He's just reading the letter. That's what I think. Or... He, um, since everybody's under, uh, Scarecrow's control, all the villains, Mad Hatter could have taken control of him, or Scarecrow could have a different strand of toxin with mind control, so those are all possibilities, but I definitely do not think that is, uh, Scarecrow's voice. So, also, another big, big thing in the, in the trailer was... The person, there was a person who said, oh, what did he say? What are you doing? I think it was. What, yeah, I'm almost certain he said, what are you doing? And, um, uh, every, I think that is Robin. Well, more Nightwing. I think that is Dick, Gray, Dick Grayson Nightwing. That's who I think that is. And they were talking like, uh, and people were also saying they think they're, uh, they heard Robin just before that as well, or Nightwing rather, but uh, saying like the city's, the city's overrun, we have to leave, but I do think that was a police officer. So uh, those were the pretty much two, only two people that it could be, if you think about it really. Um, Alfred is British, and uh, so yeah. And who else is on his intercoms? You know, Oracle, Commissioner Gordon, it didn't sound like either of them. So it's Robin or a police officer and Batman's listening in on their scanner or something. So those are the two possibilities. I certainly hope it is Nightwing, um, but I hope that will not be his only appearance. Because I hope that this is such a large-scale invasion that everybody in the Bat family is going to be needed, pretty much. Even, like, uh, the guys like Orpheus, he's such a cool character. I'd love for him to appear. He he fakes being a villain, but is always on Batman's side. And the last little thing I want to talk to you about, talk about you today. No, talk to you about today. Sorry, I messed that up. I just butchered it. But, um, is the Arkham Knight a bit. So, you... Guys, comment down below who you think the Arkham Knight will be, and I'll do a poll. I'll just name off some, uh, some, uh, options, I guess. So, obviously, there's Jason Todd, the Red Hood. Um, there's, um, like, uh, the Joker. <laughs> Anarchy, Deathstroke, um, Damian Wayne. Um, 
And then there's the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. That is the one I think would be the absolute coolest. There's Aaron Cash. That's the second coolest in my opinion. There's an absolutely new character. There's Quincy Sharp. And uh, there's a bunch of other people. So just think about it and comment down below who you think it is. Like I said, my top pick is uh, the spirit of Amadeus Arkham or, uh, or Aaron Cash. Because what the reason I think it could be Aaron Cash is something could have happened during that year where uh, those pictures of Aaron Cash's family could be a little bit of an Easter egg saying that like uh, maybe Aaron Cash's family is killed and Batman didn't get there in enough time to save them. And now Aaron Cash blames Batman for that and has been training for the year and just is ready to come and beat the crap out of them. Um... But, and the last thing I noticed during the trailer was, uh, when we saw the Arkham Knight come and attack Batman, it first sounded like Bane, then I think it was the Arkham Knight talking. But first, there was a Mexican talking. Somebody with a Spanish or Mexican accent. So, who is the most well-known Mexican character in the Arkham Universe? Bane. Of course, so uh, I think we could have heard Bane and Robin both talking in this trailer. And like I said earlier, I think that it is the mayor talking at the beginning. So like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I have some really cool casting videos coming out soon. I've been working on them for a while. Um, but uh, stick, uh, stick with the channel, and thanks for watching, guys.